So I found these plans on, I think it was like Etsy or Pinterest or something. I don't know. So Elizabeth liked it. Um, so that's what we're going to build today. Uh, I will link the, uh, the blueprints uh, of the chicken coop down below. I don't know who made them. They did a pretty good job on them. I'm going to slightly tweak the, uh, the plans just a little bit. So I don't know how much video and I'm going to do of this project. It's not going to be like a real, it's not going to be like an in-depth of me building each little part. Um, I'm just probably going to throw the camera up, maybe stop and talk a little bit about building it. Uh, but right here, it's a mess over here where Duke is, but we had a really old chicken coop here had all this old lumber, but all this was from the previous chicken coop shed thing that was here uh took it down uh i'm not going to use this for the the new project or anything but uh um, i'm going to be building it right here the plan is to have it here and have the run run up this way just a little bit uh this old fence that's still in here uh will not be here i'm going to be taking it down at a later date but yeah the run will be right through here and uh the hen house will be here yeah i probably won't get done today but i'm gonna get started so yeah here we go So we are back at it on the chicken coop today. This is day three. Um, so this is where we're at so far. Uh, yesterday I got the sheathing up, uh, got the uh, egg box um, or the laying necks box lid on. Got some of the trim around the door done. Uh, Y'all probably noticed that me and Elizabeth, we moved uh, the coop around because when I was building it, I didn't realize like, oh, she, you know, she wants the run to go this way. So, uh, so we're gonna build the run going this way. So we had to, we had to flip it around. And I'm kind of glad we did because this side of the coops, I think, more prettier because the windows and then the door and the nesting box. So uh, that's why we moved it. Uh, but anyways, so I uh, got a lot done yesterday. Uh, worked on it all day. Today I'm only gonna get probably a few hours to work on it. Uh, the main thing I wanna get, I think I wanna try to get the roof on it. I got some leftover <clears throat> sheets of metal when we re-roofed our house a couple months back. 
and uh, uh, so I'm gonna use it. I got trim. I've got I've got everything. So it should look pretty good. Should match the house too. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's quick. so got the roof on got all the pieces of trim on got the ridge cap on um, yeah it looks pretty good uh, I mean it's not my house but <laughs> I think it looks really good uh, some of the pieces didn't fit like a hundred percent correctly um, and cutting the angles for the trim up here you know is my fault I'm just not very good at angles but I think it I think it'll work out just fine for the chickens. So we're gonna call it quits for today on the coop. Uh, next, I've just got to trim out everything, and uh, I've got to order some windows. I may have trouble finding windows because I couldn't couldn't really find them online. I may have to look around locally see if I can find any. But uh, if not, I might have to do something different with the window opening. But uh, yeah, so. For a few hours and was able to come out here and uh, put some of the trim up a little bit uh, and so that's what I did uh, this side I believe is done um, and then I've got trim around this right here and then down here on the corners as you can see and then I've got this side trimmed out right here and around the the door and i don't have any trim uh, i haven't done any trim work on this side yet but uh yeah so i mean it's not perfect you know but uh it looks good uh good enough for me good enough for the chickens and so uh, i think it'll be fine um, i did tweak the door a little bit because it's slightly off but i mean you're not going to notice it um but yeah i gotta build the nesting boxes uh, i did not trim around the windows yet because i need to get windows and i'm actually having trouble finding windows so uh i'm gonna probably do something different on the windows if i can't find any windows i may have to order some locally um no one has any stock locally so i may have to order them i can't even find any online to order but uh there's a company in town that I can order some from. Don't know how long they'll be, but I may go that route. But anyways, uh, yeah, so almost done on the coop. I got a little bit more trim to do. Got to work on the, the nesting box dividers. Um, and then uh, basically we'll be done besides painting. Um, and so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. One other thing I did... <clears throat> I did attach another two before, tree to two before right here, just because, you know, I framed this out. I said this in the <clears throat> the beginning of the video. I framed this out in uh, two befores instead of uh, uh, like two by threes is what the the br blueprints called for. But uh, these are two befores in here. So which I didn't account for the floor. You know, everything being wider so uh the walls kind of stuck out um you know as you can tell they're not super you know flush 
they sh the the floor subfloor should have come out more. So, anyways, uh, I didn't realize that until you know I got my walls up, but it's fine. So I just put another board right here. So when I put my door up, you know, and it looks to me it looks a little bit better. There's not so much hanging out, um, but I mean. <laughs> it's fine the chickens will they don't care so anyways yeah things looking good all right back at it today had to go to town pick up another one of these uh, uh t111 siding or whatever it's called and uh uh to finish the door so that's what we'll be doing today got a storm coming Try to beat the storm and uh, get the door, get the door on. So. First coat on the chicken coop done it's looking really good I think I am going to go back and uh, um, it's kind of hard to tell in the video but I think I'm going back and fill these nail holes in you can kind of see them here just and they really stand out but I wouldn't have to do it and I may not but I think I am going to go back and do that um, but uh, got the door on seen that in the video um uh i didn't paint i hadn't painted around them yet i'm probably going to take these off next time when i put another coat on this i'm probably going to take the hinges off the hardware and paint uh paint them and then put them back on yeah this turned out good we put a handle here we put one of these little latches here uh the blueprints just called for uh one of these little latches but we went ahead and put a handle here that we can do it one-handed and you got something to hold to um, but we really, really like how that turned out. Elizabeth likes it. Um, also right here, we put a little hook here so you can, uh, it's kind of hard to do this one handed. So you can hook it there and, uh, the door will stay open. Um, this would be good for like, if you're cleaning out the nest boxes or something, uh, or getting eggs or whatever. But yeah, that turned out pretty good, but yep. So far, it's looking good. Like I said, uh, get a you know it's probably going to need for sure one more coat, probably two. Anyways, it's turned out great, and so far we're happy with how it's looking. So, anyways, call it a day. <laughs>